to go for another lesson. Um, not wearing a gi top. It is hot even here in, in Florida. <laughs> Especially hot. Um, I want to talk about hand techniques. I kind of glossed over earlier and I, I want to talk about it uh, this evening. Plus my left knee is acting up. Uh, and so I need to take it a little bit easy on, on that leg. Okay, so just to recap really quickly. We're talking about feet positioning, good feet positioning, where your feet need to be. We're talking about good hip placement, talking about dropping your weight down. Also talking about, you know, we've been talking about angles coming off, you know, at 45 degrees. A couple angles I haven't shown you are, um, this came from Enshin Karate uh, and, and uh, Nenomiya, who was uh, a student of, of uh, Enchin um, has continued it, okay? That's a little bit of a history. But anyways, you know, they start off doing movements like this, just coming off, you know, coming back, and then basically, you know, keeping their hands up and doing my wash again. And so they, come, you know, they come back, come back, come back, and then my wash again. Um, <coughs> So really you have now 10 possible types of movements. You know, here, going the other way, here, of course, going straight forward, coming, you know, going back. Then you have your know, movements coming off that 45 degree. And the last 45 degree you have movements, you know, coming off that one there. Um, so those are the movements. So feet, hips, angles. You know, um, talking about lowering your, your, dropping your center of gravity down, having your hips tucked underneath you, you know, having good hot up, hot ten. Um, but I didn't really talk about hands that much. And from earlier days in New York I was there, you know, Mike Foster, which I had for 20 years, you know, he always talked about keeping your weapons online, you know, basically making sure that they're not offline. Sometimes you see people, you know, and they have their weapons up and you know, look at where those fists are pointing and they're offline. You know, you're not in line to hit the person or where you manage that person to be, okay? So you have to point your weapons. Your wrists have to be straight. You know, I see photographs from uh, as people like this and I see that's a weak point right there. They can't really punch me very hard because they have to straighten out the wrists as they're coming through. And they might not even know that they have to straighten out the wrist. So uh, that's not good. Um, keeping your elbows in. You know, trying to always protect the, a zone with you know your two hands. And you're always trying to protect the zone. You know, I see Enshin Karate people and Kyokushin Kai people, you know, they fight with uh, their hands out here like this. And probably, you know, <clears throat> better suited for my type short is because I'm not gonna be the aggressor on most people. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, be the kind of person that needs to move in and out quickly. Speed is my factor, height, bulk, weight or not. And so I have to move in quickly. And so I'm gonna probably, you know, get somebody who you know, attacks me, so I'm gonna probably keep my hands up away from me trying to protect me out as far as I can. And you know, I you know I tend to keep my fingers open. I saw that when I was doing your wife, that you know, I need to push my thumb down. But a good way to offset possible attack is, you know, hey buddy, hey, hey, no, chill, cool it. You put your hands out. I don't want to fight you, you know. If you have to, you do. And you go. Get that! With all the fury and intensity that you can, if you need to bring it to that level. But those are one of the techniques about hands, as you know, just keep them where you know you're going to use them. All right, let's apply it to some techniques. You know, and you don't really have to, you know, imagine yourself, you know, somewhat close to the person.
I do this so you can still see me over the top of the punching bag. You know, you're you're you can you're gonna move into those distances. Okay, if this is the person facing me head on, I'm gonna to want to keep my hands up close, keep my elbows down, and keep you know both my hands out to try to protect myself against anything that might come in towards me. And of course I'm going to move however I need to move. You know. You know, try quick three combinations. Both punch like this, punch to the kidneys or ribs. You know, if they're here, knee. Moving away if you need to. But anyways, the hands need to be, you know, protecting you and you know from here out. And so that's why you want to keep the elbows in and want your movements to be straight. wherever you're facing. You know, from here, now I'm facing the person at this angle of them, but I'm straight to where they are, you know. So the best spot to be, you know, if, they, if I have to, you know, that's a defensive movement, me moving away. You know, if I have to come in and I have the opportunity, I want to jump in right behind here where the blind spot is. You know, you can hit them to the back of the head, control the shoulder, hit them to the kidneys, maybe step back away, back this, and you're out. So just be creative and have fun with combinations. Just, you know, six of the punches we've talked about, you know, face punch, middle punch, low, back fist, that was the hammer fist I did earlier. You know, you learn that. A little later, hard, you know, it's a good part, strong part of the hand right there. You're not going to break anything. Bam, bam. Now they're facing behind me. I'm behind them. Ah. Kick. Yeah. So those are just some thoughts on hands. And try to incorporate them into movements. Let me talk a little bit about zones too. You see people, you know, short people like myself, you know, wanting to do a elbow up high, you know, on a technique on somebody. It's like, no, that's wrong. You're, you're, you're throwing your hips way out of, of angle where they need to be. My hips are raised instead of dropping down. I'm losing power just by doing that with my hips. And I'm trying to hit up high where I have very little power going up against, you know, motion and gravity. Now, you always want to come across, straight across, you know, and at an angle. But you never want to come up. You lose power. So, you know, if you've got to elbow somebody, come through the midsection. Move. And it's what you need to do. Um, Okay, I intended this to be a real short lesson. It's kind of odd to be giving a lesson to nobody in the room or nobody who's gonna give you that, you know, feeling of, an, of another person being able to have, you know, working with that person. But this is what I do most of the time. I don't have a partner, but I come up here and train. And I have students and I have other students um, that are, you know, different parts of the, of the state. Um, but so, yeah, cool, hang out. Do your, your karate, you know, you have the time to do that. Yeah, ease. Um, so do it. Hey, not bad for an old man. Okay, thank you very much.